everyone, welcome back. My name is Lynn Wilson. How are you today? How are you? So this was an unexpected impromptu video and I'm gonna jump on here and just show you a few things and you're all gonna think I'm crazy because Lynn, what are you doing? You're doing more shopping? Yes, I'm doing more shopping. So this month I had a few extra dollars to work with because I have plenty of freezer meats and I have plenty of things in my regular stockpile and in my pantry. I'm pretty well equipped, but because I had extra, I was told myself I wasn't getting anything this month. You're good. You don't need to get anything. And then I thought to myself, you know what, if I can get a few things to hold over because prices are going up. It wouldn't hurt to get a couple of things while you have a few dollars and then for the next two, three months, I can coast and I don't have to worry about things. So with that being said, I'm also kind of curious because as I shared in my video, I think it was last night, you know, about your basic stockpiling and things like that and just the way people are talking. So um, let me divert for a moment. Hello, Christina. If you're watching my video, I'm giving you a shout out and saying hello. So I had somebody unbeknownst to me. She came to where I work. She came to an event we had and she said, are you the Lynn Wilson? I felt very awkward because I'm just Lynn. You know, I live like the rest of you. And um, I need to tell you a secret. Okay, you ready? Don't, don't tell everybody, but I'm going to tell you guys a secret. I just want you to know, when I come home from work, there's always dishes in the sink. There's always a rug in my house that needs to be vacuumed. And almost guaranteed there's a basket of laundry on the basement floor that needs to get done. So I am no different than the rest of you, but I know what it's like to, you know, watch a YouTuber. And like the first time Jan from New York City and I talked face to face, I was like, oh, this is Jan from New York City. I was so excited to meet her. It's funny how people look at you and are excited to meet you and think that you're somebody unique or special. I don't know. But Christina was so excited to meet me. And I just told my husband, I'm just Lynn. And I told her what you see in the camera is what you get. So I don't even know why I started to tell you this, but there was a purpose in it. But anyway, I don't know. It'll come to me. But I, I, I just love to encourage people and I love to tell people you can do it. I am no different than anyone else. I am not anybody that has all the answers and I've got all this knowledge and wisdom. I don't have it. I have experience. I have bumps and bruises because of the mistakes I've made along the way and I like to share that. But I can tell you one thing that I have a pet peeve that I am so tired of watching people on videos who want to harass you, who want to yell at you and scold you into, you must do this. Now, you must not do anything. I believe that all my followers, at least, and my viewers are intelligent adults that can make up their mind to do or not to do. I can suggest, I can share with you, I can tell you things that I do or I don't do, I've learned, I haven't learned, whatever the case might be. And that's all I'm doing is sharing with you. You're an intelligent human being and you can make your own choice. So I am not going to scold you and yell at you and tell you that the, like I said last night, that the, the world's come to an end, it's gone to pot and you better run out and buy your last piece of meat because there'll be nothing ever forever more. I have gotten myself into a tizzy and watching some of these people that are doing these channels. And I said to my husband, bad news sells and people like to jump on the bandwagon and give you the the terribles and the and the and the horribles and and all these things and i just tend to do the opposite i don't like to do that and maybe my channel won't grow as fast and i don't really care because what my channel is meant to be god knows my heart i'm following his leading and i'm going to just be honest with you and tell you it is what it is if i tell you i like it i like it if i tell you i don't like it i don't like it but i'm not out here to 
kind of, you know, give you my perspective and hope that I get more views because I'm going to tell you this horrible message about going to the store and seeing all the empty shelves and everything's gone to pot. And with that being said, I'm going to say kudos to Walmart. I am so excited. So here's the thing. I had to take my mom to Walmart and I went in for coffee, sausages, and half and half. And I wanted to look around. So, okay, go in there. Now you have to understand my Walmart is not one of the better ones. So normally there's never any carts and everything's a mess. And ha before the pandemic, the shelves were always half filled anyway. And you know, okay, you got the picture. Go in tonight, carts are lined up on the outside. It is raining, it's sleeting, it's a yucky night. So my mom and I decide to go inside and see if we can get a dry cart. Well, they're all soaking wet. So I get a cart and, you know, you're doing this with your hands. Gentleman walks over, an employee wipes down the cart, tells us to have a good night. I thanked him. It was so kind. Walk in the door. There's several people at the door saying, hi, ha happy evening. You know, welcome to Walmart. Very friendly, very up. And I was like, I don't normally get such a wonderful greeting. So now, of course, you know, YouTube creator, got to check out what's going on in the world of Walmart because everybody's saying this, that, and the next thing. Now, I'm not saying that in your area, I don't understand why some people do honestly have empty shelves. My sister's in Ohio. She has no problem. My other sister's in Pennsylvania. She has no problem. I have relatives in Seattle, Washington. I have relatives in California. We have relatives in Iowa. We have relatives in Michigan. Yeah, none of them have problems. So I don't know where all these empty shelves are. And I'm not saying there aren't. But I'm telling you from my perspective, I went in tonight. I looked. I went down the pizza. You know, all the, uh, what do they call it? The convenience food. Fully stocked. I went down the bread aisle. Fully stocked. I looked at the meats. Fully stocked. Frozen vegetables, fully stocked. Yogurts, cheeses, fully stocked. Went down cookies and, and water. I hear water, fully stocked. Pancake mix, fully stocked. Even so much as I want it, I love looking at earrings. You know, if you've ever noticed, I wear earrings. So Walmart has cheap earrings. I, I'm all about cheap. This is, see this? This is uh, Walmart, yeah. $1.99 on clearance. So, you know, last year. And I went to look at the earrings fully stocked. Now, usually on a good day, you're lucky if it's a third of the way stocked, fully stocked. When to look at appliances. I, I mean, in the, I'm getting into Pioneer Woman. Yeah, you might see a few things coming along the pike. I wanted to look at stuff. Now, again, in my Walmart, they don't usually have, even on a good day, it's not stocked, fully stocked. Look down the towels and, and the curtains, fully stocked. I just kept looking and I'm like, on top of that, Walmart, I, I'm going to tell you, you did a great job at my Walmart. There, I told my husband, I just, I could barely get down the aisle for the amount of employees down every aisle. Go to get coffee. There were four employees down there loading and stocking the shelves with their, you know, those big carts they wheel out. Next aisle. I'm trying to think what was in it. There was corn at the end of the aisle. Oh, it was, uh macaroni and cheese and stuff like that. So I'm kind of standing there like, you know, do do do, trying to take a picture with everybody noticing. And you saw the picture at the beginning. I wanted to get a picture. They had cans of corn on the end, 50 cents a can. So if you saw my video last night for beginners, you're newbies and you're trying to get your stockpile going, you can get a can of vegetable to start your stockpile for 50 cents at Walmart. So save your pennies. Get your 50 cents, go to Walmart and get your first can and say, congratulations to me. I have now officially started my stockpile. So I was kind of standing around like, you know, pretending like I was looking, wanted to get a picture of this 50 cents rack of corn so I could show you guys. So down that aisle, there were so many employees. I, could, I actually had to go down another aisle and come back around. They were wheeling out carts fast and furious. I told my husband, I have never seen our Walmart like this. I, I left there just encouraged and excited. It felt good. Now, prices. How were the prices? There were some things, like I got pancake mix, and I'll explain why I got it. I've got, if 
5,000 packages of pancake mix anyway. Why did I need another one? Okay. Pancake mix, not a change at all in the price. I got ramen and we have three boxes and I like to keep five on hand, but my son hasn't been eating as much. So I thought I'll get one box. I'll bring it to four just to have it. I used to pay $2.27 for years at Walmart, $2.27 always. It's now $2.87. So that's definitely gone up, but other stuff hasn't. So here's my deal with Walmart. Uh, to me, I... I look at prices. There are specials at ShopRite and there are specials at Stop and Shop. Stop and Shop being the most expensive, but if you get the stuff on sale, I would get it. And I said to my mom tonight, listen, here's the deal. You got to know your prices, but I have to say Walmart to me has been the most consistent in not raising their prices. I grant you the ramen's gone up 60 cents. There are other things that yes, they have gone up in price. But there are plenty of things that have not changed. I got rolls there for $2.40 for a package of potato rolls. I go somewhere else, they're like $4.79 for a package of potato rolls. These were $2.40. Across the board, there are enough things at Walmart that you can fill, forget your stockpile, fill your refrigerator, freezer, and everyday pantry. Start with that and then go and get those 50 cents cans of vegetables. Lots of good stuff to be found, lots of good prices. You have to look. You cannot just go in and fill your cart and think, boom, 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 that's it, I'm done, it's good. No, go and find your prices, look at, you know, do some comparisons and all of that. I'm gonna quickly show you what I got just so you can see what I got. Like I said, I had a little extra this month, so I am stocking up on some freezer items, some other of those other items that just because I have the extra funds, I'm going to fill up. I think it's a good thing when you have it, take advantage of the extra funds, fill up. So now for the next two to three months, I'm hoping from middle of March until really the end of May, maybe even to the beginning, middle of June, I can coast a little bit on a lot of things. I still need eggs, milk, butter, bread, basic stuff like that, some fresh veggies. Outside of that, I'm hoping that I'm pretty good and can probably, my goal would be to spend like 125, 100 to 125 over the next two and a half to three months a month because I have plenty of everything else. So what did I get? So I picked up some more of the grands. I like these. I Making homemade biscuits, I would love to do. I don't have the time. I use these. We make all kinds of, des uh, we do make desserts. We can, we make uh, homemade donuts in the air fryer with those. But I make a lot of meals using that for dumplings or for casseroles. And we just enjoy a biscuit, um, you know, with a meal as well as this is great. I use the sausage patties. I'll show you those in a minute. And I make my own breakfast sandwiches, a sausage patty, slice of cheese, and a biscuit. It's great. Croissants. I love my sausage casserole. I made it last week. I'm going to be making it again for this up and coming week. Love it, love it, love it. I did get my one box of ramen in. I went for half and half, which is what I mentioned. Plenty to choose from. Plenty. Plenty. The two that I wanted, they only had them in the big ones, which is fine because there's three of us drinking coffee. So that will be fine. We'll use that over the next little while. We'll definitely I, uh, use it up. No problem. Coffee. They had caramel coffee. I was looking for the Walmart because it's only three something a box and they only had flavored. I'm not big on flavored coffee. My son and my husband like them. So I was looking for their uh, house blend or their breakfast blend, and they only had those in the big boxes. But when it came to flavors, they probably had five or six, plenty of it. There was no, I could find coffee, just not what I was looking for. They had a lot of Green Mountain. I don't like Green Mountain. So I just got one box for tonight. Um, <coughs> I went in for the sausage patties. So I got these, these are the original great value. I have tried other sausage patties. I don't like them. I think the great value is fantastic. This has gone up in price, $2 a bag. Oh, 
that's a hike, but it's still cheaper than the other brands and it is what it is. It's something we use. It's still cheaper to buy this than buy a breakfast sandwich out and about. So I picked this up and this is one of the things that I went in for. I found, which I have never seen before. So if you've seen this, if you've had it and you like it, could you leave me a comment? I'd be curious. So they had spicy and I love, I get the, um, <coughs> what is the sausage I get? I don't know. I get the, Jimmy Dean. I get the spicy Jimmy Dean, the hot sausage it's called. And I love that in my sausage casserole. So I was hoping that these would be similar. So I got those. I apologize for coughing. It's raining. It's sleet. It's yucky here in New Jersey. It's freezing, cold, and raw. And my nose is itching and my ears and my eyes. And I'm coughing because my allergies are here. So please forgive me. So I got an olive oil. So this was $10.97. The big jug was $17 something. So I, eh, I'll just go with this one. So this is 51 ounces. I needed some. I was almost out. So this will last me quite a while. So pick that up. Uh, picked up some powdered milk. And you're going to laugh because, yes, we do use this. If I'm making a recipe, I prefer to use this over my organic milk. Or I'll use my shelf-stable milk. This is for until January 2024. Um best used by date. So I'm not going to get into the dates. I'm just letting you know the date on the box. But in other words, I can have this for quite a while. But I sell um, foot soaks on the shop that my sisters and I are involved with. So I need to make a whole new batch and I need to restock and refill. I had sent some out as gifts to some of you and um, kind of used up everything I had and I've got some people asking, so I need to get back on the bandwagon with that. So I use the powdered milk in my homemade foot spas. French fry. What is this called? French fry. Yeah, French fry dipping sauce. Anybody try this yet? Somebody on YouTube had this, and I wanted to try it. We get their um, chicken dipping sauce. It tastes identical to Chick-fil-A. Next, that is one thing I want to try homemade, the Chick-fil-A sauce. I'm trying to see best used by October 21, 2022. We're not big on French fries, so I'm going to just try it on a variety of things, but I want to try it. I want to try it. So one thing I've had a hard time finding, I don't know why, I can find frozen peas and I can find frozen carrots. I like peas and carrots. I don't like mixed vegetables. I don't like the lima beans. And I don't like the... Um, green beans in them. They never seem to cook right to me. I'll have green beans, but separate. I want peas and carrots for a lot of the things that I make, vegetables and pot pies and things like that. So I got, a, this is 12 ounces and I got two of them. I was so excited. Plenty of peas and carrots, no problem. 58 cents a bag. Now listen, if you are a family of one or a family of a few, that is 12 ounces. There is a lot of, I mean, I'm, there's an air in there, but that's a lot of peas and carrots. You probably would not eat that much if you use that as a side with a macaroni or, or a pasta or a potato or a rice or something. For a family of one or two for 58 cents for the bag, let me tell you, you could be sitting pretty with some peas and carrots for a long time to come, and that price is a steal. Then I got a really good deal. Like I said, I only went in for sausage, coffee, and half and half. But look, we're big corn eaters. We love corn. Okay. Do you see the size of this bag? This is huge. And this is Bird's Up. Brand name, $5.48. So I could not pass that up. That's going in the freezer. That'll last us quite a while. A long while. So probably by June, we won't even have used that up. So um, I picked up some sharp cheddar cheese. We're having my um, nephew come over. He's been living in Korea for a year teaching English. He is home for a month before he heads out to another adventure and uh, making homemade macaroni and cheese. And 
I used up my cheese the other day, so I picked that up so I can have that on hand. Okay, you know, you got to go through the bakery department. You know what that's like? And you just happen to look at stuff. And I just, my, my kid at home, he's my youngest. He's my baby. I'm in love with him. And I'm in love with my husband. And I like getting my men treats. So I picked up these thumbnail cookies. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Cup of tea? Cup of coffee? What would you have with it? Looked too good to pass up. Now, then I'm going down the other side of the bakery, and it called out my name. It, it literally said, Lynn Wilson, you must buy me. And I did. So I got this, and it has blueberry, banana, and lemon. And I know I can make it. Let me tell you, the next five days... I'm running fast and furious. I got lots going on. I have no patience. I came home from work today. I had 10 minutes and I had to be out the door to go take care of my mom, take her shopping to three different stores. We're just getting home. It's rainy, it's cold, I'm cranky. I've worked, I'm tired. I gotta be at work early. There we go. Breakfast for the next couple days. The guys can do some scrambled eggs in a mug in the microwave. I have to show you that. Eggs for one in the microwave, it's ingenious. So they can do that. They can have one of the breakfast sausages, put some peanut butter on this if they want. We're good. I don't have to worry about that for a few days. It takes a little pressure off of me. Then I picked up rolls. I got two packages, $2.40. That is a good deal for potato rolls. Now, if I buy a loaf of bread, we'll go through it sometimes. But a lot of times it can go stale. So I have to admit, sometimes it's gone moldy because we won't go through it. I buy this. Whoop. I buy this. They get eaten up. My son makes chicken sandwiches. We have breakfast sandwiches, whatever. So you know what? For me, it's easier and better to buy the roll sometimes than a loaf of bread. You buy for your family what their needs are. I'll buy for my family with what our needs are. So I picked up my favorite pancake mix, at least for now. I do like Aunt Jemima. Um, don't want to offend my friend Jan from New York City. Yes, I do like the Aunt Jemima Complete Pancake Mix, but this one kind of won, won me over. And everybody, I, I saw a YouTuber the other day. I paid $5.48 at Walmart. She said she went to Walmart and she paid, I want to say $11, $12. It might have even been more than that. I don't know. It was astronomical. And she said she wouldn't buy it because the price went up. And when I went there, it was $5.48. That's what I've been paying forever. So I picked it up. I don't know if her prices have gone up and it's headed our way. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to get it. And I even looked at the date on this. Where did I see it? I want to tell you correctly. Here it is. Best Buy date, January 28th, 2024. So it's not like this is going to be, you know, in another month or two, Best Buy date, it'll be over. The Best Buy date is not for two years. I got plenty of time. We'll get to it. But for $5.48, if this thing ever went up to $8 to $12, that's an, that's an investment. So I may not be investing in the stocks right now, but I'm investing in me in terms of food that if I can buy this now for $5.00, and in four months from now, it's $12. I've saved myself a pretty penny. So, and for a family of three, this, this thing takes us forever to go through. I'm in good shape. I can make breads out of it, pancakes out of it, waffles out of it, biscuits, muffins, everything. Good stuff. The last thing that I picked up was this. And it is the cheese with the sausage. We love these just for munching. But I'll tell you one of the reasons I got it was... Um, Many of you know my husband has epilepsy, and people ask me all the time what triggers epilepsy, and I will fill you in on a quick ride over to my mother's, which is about 20 minutes. You know how when the roads are wet and you hear the tires, kind of the hum of the tires, and then the rain is hitting the window and the wipers are going back and forth? Well, all of that stimulation I watched within moments of my husband going into a seizure. There's nothing I can do to stop it. I can't stop the car. I have to get to where we're going. The hum of the tires, the wipers, it's raining. I had to. I can't stop the rain. So um, it is what it is. He had a, 
it wasn't a bad seizure, but he still had one. So when we got to my mom's, he stayed there with my son and he rested and he relaxed and I took my mom shopping. But when I saw these, I thought this would be a great thing in case on the way home he's not feeling well. I can whip this out of the bag. Sometimes something like that, a quick snack, will kind of snap him out of whatever seizure-ish thing he's going through. Or it might just distract him enough just that, you know, take his mind off the sounds and whatnot. So anyway, that's why I got this. But this will be great for just the next few days for him in the house. If Casey needs something, this is great for me to take one or two to work. I've got something to munch on. That's all I have to say. I want to encourage you, go and look out your prices. Go and check things out. If you have a little extra money, stock up on the stuff now while it is cheap enough. Listen, prices will go up. Things happen. It's called life. We can't change it. Prices will come down again. What it, My dad always said, everything that goes up must come down. Things will go up, things will go down. It might go up for a longer period of time than we're liking and things are gonna get tight. But if I can invest in something like this now and know that that's gonna sustain me probably for, okay, that's two years. I probably will not have to buy pancake mix between this and what I have in my stockpile for at least two years. I do not have to buy pancake mix. So that's one thing I can check off my list. I'm good. Thanks for coming over. Give this a thumbs up. I'd love to get comments from you. Please leave a comment. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It does help my channel. I'm getting closer and closer to 5,000. I'm so excited. We'll catch you all on the next video.